because we say so much about how this is all about the community. So what we've done is we have created a little slides for you all to, to map out where we're all coming from. We all know we're all coming together for some sort of an emergency. We'll be really interested in, to know what is the emergency shed that you're coming in from? So for example, I'm Crystal Huang. I am based in California, specifically the territory of the Chechenyo speaking Ohlone people in the so-called Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland Bay Area. And for me, my emergency shed would be wildfires and earthquake, maybe drought sometimes. So for me, I'll write down crystal, comma, wildfire, earthquake, and maybe drought. We're seeing, we got Judy from California with the wildfires, very close to where I am. We also have Kyle dealing with heat waves, extreme weather. We got Rachel, it looks like in Florida for hurricanes, floods, heat. And we have Jen with winter storms, floods, heat. Yeah, heat is truly um, at the top of our mind these days because we're in the summertime. Hi, Stephanie in Michigan. Got unreliable utility company in Michigan. We got Jen from Western Buffalo. Okay, got Kwame from Little Rock, Arkansas, a tornado, heat wave, lightning storms. Map is going to move a little bit, and that's okay because accuracy is not the point. The point is we're doing it together. And we have a lot of folks in the East Coast, Midwest area, and the South, not so much on the Plains area. But it's good to see we have um, a lot of commonality with flooding, with storms, heat waves, crumbling infrastructures. And of course, we also have the scary truth, uh, scary reality in the Gulf South of the coastal erosion. So here we are together through the Battery Collective, thinking about how can we look at one example of way for us to be in community to take care of each other. Um, so I wanna take a brief moment to kind of explain what the Battery Collective is. A lot of us will think of it as a, oh, it's a battery sharing program. We get to share battery, we get to share these technology, we can take care of each other. I wanted to invite a different way of looking at things. So um, I wanna take a moment right now. It seems like all of us have some sort of a power. That's what we're able to call in. And so take a moment to think about like, where does your power come from? I think right now my power, I made from my laptop, my power comes from my charger and my charger is taking power from the outlet. Maybe you're running your power from some battery, which is great. Um, and think about how does your power get into the battery? So now from my outlet, where does my power go to get to the outlet? I look outside, I see, I wonder if you can see the outside if I look, if I turn this screen around, you can see some, some power lines right out there. These infrastructures are bringing these electrons to my house. I can, I can literally see the wire connecting to my house that then gets into my outlet. That then comes to my charger, comes to my laptop, and I get to talk to you. So we have these physical infrastructure with the power lines out there. The power lines then connect to some sort of an electricity generator. The generator, gen electricity generation could be coming from my neighbor's solar. It could come from a solar or some sort of a power plant that's in my neighborhood or through some transmission line, this giant big metal power station that is connecting big heavy power um, ultra um, power lines to bring heavy load of power to me. So this infrastructure is what is existing today to allow me to have power. And as we know, we have all these emergency that is happening that's making these infrastructure unreliable. Of course, we also know that who's managing these power lines, they are, they in many ways exist to, for private accumulation of wealth, as Steph 
mention the unreliable power company, utility company? How do we make sure that we have our own solution so we don't have to always rely on these either for-profit company or sometimes municipal utilities that are not actually running the business well? So here comes battery collected. And one way to look at it is when the power goes out for me, that means the power lines that's connecting from the outside to my house no longer works. So what do I do? But I know I can see when it's dark and I'm sitting in the dark, I can see there are some people might not be on this block, but a few blocks down still have their lights on. So how do I connect the power from there to where I am right now? And one way to do it is just like those people who are currently using batteries for your phone or for your laptop to store it somewhere. So if we can move a battery at, at hardware that charges and that collects all the energy from a few blocks down that still have power to bring it over to my house, then I have power too. So in some way, we're talking about a people powered electricity grid. So this is why as my dear friends here, dear friends here at Kansas and yes here have talked about so much so far, it's all about the community. It, it feels very preachy, but it's really about how do we be in community with each other so we can share so that we as humans can start to be in relationship with each other so that when these hardware, this line, these any of these hardware fails, we don't have to be stranded because we're conscious of it. Right now, a lot of times our relationship, mine included, my relationship with energy is just consuming. I have no idea what electricity is powering my, my laptop right now. I have no idea where it's coming from, how far it's coming from. All I know is, is my laptop on? It is, and I'm gonna do my thing and I don't think about these things. And these are blessing to be able to do, but at the same time, if I want to be prepared, I don't know what to do. So how do we practice this muscle, as Yasir said, so that we can rely on each other is in many ways what the Battery Collective is all about as we look at battery as one hardware, one tool to help us to be in community with each other. And so that, that is in many ways, in a nutshell, what the Battery Collective's concept is so that we can rely on each other when the system and the infrastructure fails. And this is why people's involvement and engagement consciousness is so important. And with that said, um, if there's no questions in chat, I'm gonna pass it over to Kansas for us to do a little bit of exercise for us to really think about what does that look like in my community? <laughs> Thank you, awesome, Crystal.